With 2020's launch season in full swing, Red Bull became the next team to unveil its new challenger, the RB16. Having enjoyed a strong run at the end of 2019, Red Bull has opted for an evolutionary design for its new car, aiming to close in on Mercedes and provide a sustained challenge for the title. Crucial to the team's aspirations is getting a good start to the season, something which Red Bull has failed to do over the past few seasons. So let's delve into the RB16 and see what it's got. Starting at the front, the front wing has seemingly changed for 2020. At the end of last season, Red Bull trialled a Ferrari-style design, which seeks to boost the way the airflow is pushed around the front wheels. By the end of 2019, most teams had at least tried that style of front wing, and even Mercedes had begun to gravitate towards a similar design throughout the season, albeit less extreme. The nose has also undergone a bit of plastic surgery, and the snorkel now features an extended lip on the top part. This is surrounded by two further nostrils, which seem to be employed in a similar fashion to Ferrari's added snout at Singapore last year. These nostrils appear to feed out into the cape section, which should boost the overall front-end downforce of the car. The front suspension wishbone, which formed a multi-link style design last year, has now been fused back together as Red Bull reverts to something more conventional. There's a minor detail change to the S-Dux 2, where the overall transition onto the chassis bulkhead has been somewhat smoothed out. With the barge boards expected to be a hotbed of development in 2020, it seems that Red Bull may be holding a little something back from the launch car. After all, it pays to keep your cards close to your chest at this time of year. The floor is in a similar specification to last year. But the side pods have been tightened up even more, as Red Bull and Honda have made their components easier to package tightly. The engine cover remains similar to the RB15, as Honda prefers to position some of its cooling above the intake system. That reduces the flexibility the team has in this area, but gives them more options when packaging the side pods. At the rear there's not too much change, although the end plates feature a small cut in the leading edge, aiming to reduce early separation. Red Bull experimented a lot with rear wing settings last year, so don't expect this design to be the final one. With Max Verstappen and Alex Albon behind the wheel, Red Bull has a lineup that can consistently challenge for big results if the conditions are right. If the RB16 then can provide the correct platform, 2020 could be a very exciting year for the Red Bull squad.